Anytime. Oh, I'm raging. God, I just love music. Mm. I'm a good dancer and I love music. That's why there's more music in the morning. Yeah, music in the morning. Dancing to music. Mm -hmm. Music in the morning. Music in the morning. That's right. That's good. We gotta get that on tape. Kennedy, what are you what are you liking right now? What's what are you listening to? What's really <gasps> floating your ear? Oh, what's floating my ear? Um God, that's a great question. I know I should say something really cool. I mean we we play some of your favorites in the morning. I do like the ting tings. Can I mm -hmm. have this? Oh, Kennedy, you don't have to ask. Mi casa su casa. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. Um, and I like, uh, I like Hot Chip. Yeah. And my favorite band, I know I've told you about this, Shit Disco. Yeah. They're great. They're from Scotland. Wait, what's that? <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Please don't embarrass me. Oh, <laughs> nice. Anatomy. But I, you do like Kings of Leon and Muse and the Killers, the type of shit that we play in the morning, I right? I do. I love, no, I do. I love, yes. I love Kings of Leon before Kings of, of Leon were to be loved. I was like, before they loved that, themselves. Yeah, they hated themselves before I loved them. Yeah. You and, gave uh, them reason to love. I did. I love The Replacements. This is one of my favorite records. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm That's good stuff. And I love Franz Ferdinand. Yeah. That, did you see ever see that live performance that they did here? Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. That the was impressive. a great slot music performance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I'm torn between that and Karen O. Uh, actually, Franz... Her I'll voice, friends. her voice though on the where the wild things are soundtrack. Is that out? Hurts. Uh, I got it like months ago. Probably. Oh yeah, you're right. You're on the early I was down at the list. port. Looking for servicing, guys. Servicing, servicing <laughs> sailors. <laughs> that came back. The Von Bondies, remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone else does either. I love Lily. Oh, Allen. Lily Allen, you're such a. Crusader had good little muffin talk, and I love Spencer and John's booze explosion. Explosion. Oh yeah, that might be the vinyl that I might bring in. My yeah. Murder City Devils live yeah. at the Showbox. Yeah. Their very last uh, thing. By the way, saw Chris Cornell and all the guys at uh, Pearl Jam the other night. I think they're getting the band back together. I've heard that. Yeah. Soundgarden. Yeah. Did you hear it here first? I don't know. I believe you did. I don't mind saying it. They that looked, will be an epic show. Great. They've all improved with age. They've, like, fine wine, those guys. Chris Cornell has taken vocal lessons, I'm convinced, because he uses the instrument in a proper way, which will extend the life of that gorgeous voice of his. Well, and I embrace Looks my... like he was carved out of alabaster. Don't you think he's, it's like, a really good-looking guy? Yeah, I do. He's, actually. like, a hot dude. Yeah, I, I do. I think as he's, a, like... As a heterosexual woman, woman, I find Chris Cornell to be... More than moderately attractive. Even as a heterosexual You know who's even man. better looking? Matt Cameron. Who you has, think? Yeah. He's kind of dopey Who looking. He's got that like two long... two thumbs, speaks French, and is too embarrassed yeah. to talk to Matt Cameron. What? I thought you were Romanian. Yeah, but I speak French. Jeez. So worldly, I, 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 I don't even know if I should be in the I same know. room. How can, I, how can I compete with this conversation? Jack Johnson, a little boring. If you could, if you could only listen to Jack Johnson or Dave Matthews. Oh boy, Dave Matthews, because he has better musicians backing him up, so I could tune out them. More versatile. Shark for the fly. Yeah. And Dave Matthews, if you ever see him, if you ever go for the cheek kiss, he'll move his head and kiss you on the mouth. Well, just for you though, probably. No, not just. Do you for do me. that for me? He probably would. That old gag. God. <laughs> he did it for Serena Alchul. Oh, whatever happened to Serena yeah. Alchul? I don't know. Maybe she got something on her. You don't know what happened to her? Mm -mm. No idea. Mm. I think you should tell your Ricky Rackman uh, first anal sex story. <laughs> the first time Ricky had anal sex? Yeah. It was with a guy named Lefty. <laughs> and Ricky said, ouch, using the whole... Uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, though. Oh, no, that's Dan Cortez. Dan Cortez. Yeah, I cannot tell that story. Sure. No. It's family friendly. No, it's not. We'll run it after midnight. No, no one will know. Dan Cortez would sue me. Oh, yeah, he would. Yeah. Slander. He is a public yeah. figure. He would, Dan Cortez was not the receiver. And it was a heterosexual union, so. And it was a female. And, yes. That. Yeah. And there was chowder involved. <laughs> there was chowder. Corn, corn chowder. All right, we'll end it there.